Wednesday, after a Tuesday too similar to Monday to describe. I walked to the Whole Foods Market over by the fairgrounds on Esplanade Avenue. Outside the market, I saw Carol. She was talking to a man and a woman, both wearing store aprons. The woman was considerably shorter than Carol, but about the same age, early to mid-40s. The man was in his middle 30s, six foot or six one and sinewy. Carol smiled when I passed and said hello. I had no good reason to interrupt, so I continued into the store. I bought a few things from the prepared food scanner for my dinner. When I left the store, Carol was still on the sidewalk, but talking to a new group of two. The second conversation wasn't as involved as the first one, so I waited a minute. A polite gesture. Carol nodded and smiled repeatedly to her small audience. Then, in one swift movement, she bent slightly at the waist with a warm, large laugh and backed up slowly, excusing herself. The young, gray-haired couple she was speaking with smiled and moved on. Shoulders low and arms hanging straight from the weight of their brown, recycled paper grocery bags, like New Age good-postured apes. The woman turned while she was walking away and said, Call when you know the date. Carol backed up the sidewalk farther. She waved twice with her right hand and then turned and greeted me. Hi there, Michael. I just wanted to let you know my rent check is on its way. Tomorrow's payday. Oh, good, said Carol. I would have gotten it too on time, but I... She smiled then and interrupted, stopping. How's the apartment? The apartment. The apartment was fine. Fine. I answered. Hey, where's your cute little car? Carol asked next, looking around. Oh, I walked. Didn't think it was quite this far. Carol turned and started in the direction of the city park rotary, which was the same route I had taken to get there. She had figured this. It looked like you were running for mayor back there, I told her. No, just talking. Carol smiled again, but with a calm, serious expression, walking for a moment with her head slightly lowered. With no reason to be too glib, I brought up the rent again. Where should I drop off my check tomorrow? At your office? While loading up the furniture at Phyllis's, I remember she mentioned an office. Sure, drop it by Bienville, 3216. It's the yellow place, half a block past Lyuzas. Carol stopped and then continued. Do you know that block? Lyuzas was on the same block with the little movie house that serves beer. That much I knew. I'd seen two movies there on a couple of uneventful nights alone during my first month in the city, spending my nights either at the movies, walking in circles around the quarter, or home in bed exploring the pole of the familiar with Binks Bowling. Carol and I walked three blocks at the right side of Esplanade, almost to the corner with Moss. Then she spoke suddenly. Hey, I'll show you a shortcut. She turned across Esplanade just before we reached the line of tour buses idling in front of the cemetery. Where are you headed, by the way? I asked her, wondering legitimately why we were spending all this time together, wondering why or how we had hooked up. Nearly 28 years old, gainfully employed, and running into nobody in my new neighborhood besides my new landlady. This is unusual, I thought. Why is she still walking with me? Just friendly and enjoying a coincidental shared direction? I'm going to see a friend on the bayou, she answered. And then for a brief, cynical moment, I thought I knew her. She was friendly, but must be a neighborhood busybody, skilled in many ways, sure, but nevertheless a nosy neighbor at heart, stopping shoppers in front of the market, engaging in friendly chit-chat with strangers, renting apartments from her, and now dropping in on yet another probably unsuspecting friend on the bayou. She was also no doubt the grassroots politico type, if not running for mayor, maybe for alderwoman or select woman or or president of the neighborhood block watch. Be that as it may, she was good enough to show me a shortcut, so I followed her into the small park next to the feed store. 
a little deeper into the small walled part, I decided calmly that Carol was just in a good mood, probably not flawed in any serious way, and that it was probably for reasons other than running into me, the new tenant. I was only a chance witness to her upbeat nature, not the cause or catalyst of it.